I'm auto specialist Tom Bolt for the Seattle International Auto Show, and the BZ4X is the first pure EV from Toyota in a long time. Remember, they had a joint venture with Tesla, the RAV4. BZ4X actually means something. BZ stands for Beyond Zero, X is for crossover body style, 4 is the size. A smaller BZ3X has already been shown. This Toyota has a twin, the Subaru Solterra. The big difference is a couple trim pieces and the Subi is only available with all wheel drive, which makes sense. You have a choice with the Toyota, front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Subaru plans on selling Solterra in all 50 states. The BZ is available in selected ones for now, so check your local dealer if you want this badge on your EV. Pricing for the Toyota starts at $43,300 for a base XLE model. This front drive limited MSRP is for just over $49,000 with the black roof option. Made in Japan, it's not eligible for federal tax credits. Check with your state. Time to play Frunk or No Frunk. <laughs> Okay, the consolation prize is more foot and storage room in the cabin for those up front. Total power from the single motor front drive model is 201 horsepower and 196 pound feet of instant torque. All wheel drive ups the oomph to 214 horses. If you've seen the new Prius, this will look familiar. Change directions here, the BZ uses a single speed transmission. The 71.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery lays flat underneath the passengers, the usual EV setup. In all wheel drive models, it grows by 1.4 kilowatt hours and is sourced from a different supplier. The pack is liquid cooled and can deliver up to 252 miles of range, according to EPA estimates, depending on model plus front or rear drive. Extra recuperation drag can be added with this button, no degrees, it's an on or off proposition. Drive modes are distinct enough so that all pilots should notice the difference. Typically with EVs, adding a second motor for all wheel drive boosts the power significantly. Not so much with the BZ4X. This front driver will do the zero to 60 dash in about seven seconds. With all wheel drive, it drops about a half a second. So. Really, it's more about traction and stability. Sometimes powerful front wheel drive vehicles have torque steer, that tugging of the wheel under hard acceleration, not the BZ4X. On average, the BZ weighs 4,400 pounds. All wheel drive adds around 65 LBSs. Some electric vehicles get super cooly neato performance sounds piped into the cabin, they're synthetic. The BZ4X, none of that. It's completely natural, just electric motor sound and very faint. Like many EVs, this is quiet around town. At highway speeds, 70 and over, there's some road noise heard, plus the smooth rushing of wind over the body. This handles well, body roll and dive are nicely checked and typically that means a firm, uncomfortable suspension. But not here, uh, the Toyota engineers have worked a little bit of magic. It's comfortable, but still engaging. Nicely done. If you're into sport and your spouse wants comfort, here's your middle ground. Let's talk range. It's what everybody wants to know about in an EV. The EPA rates the front wheel drive limited BZ4X that I'm driving at 242 miles. But it's been cold in Seattle, uh, the high 30s, low 40s, so I am not going to be getting that. Closer to 210, which is pretty good. FYI, a good half of my driving was done at highway speeds. A lot of EV owners have come to love one pedal driving. Uh, the BZ4X doesn't really have an aggressive setting. Even when you push the button, it takes a while for this car to come to a complete stop, and even then, you really need to use the brake pedal. The gauge cluster is very simple. A power graphic shows how efficiently you're accelerating and what your regen is. It's at a level where a head-up display would be. It's up high, so you're looking over the steering wheel, not through the steering wheel. Some people like it, some people don't. You're gonna have to decide for yourself. 
personally, I have no trouble seeing it with the seat in a comfortable driving position. Visibility is decent in the BZ, and Toyota Safety Sense 3 ADAS, that standard, includes blind spot monitoring. The semi-autonomous driving tech in BZ4X is good stuff. On the highway, it stays pretty much locked in its lane. It doesn't wander around. It takes gentle curves very confidently. The adaptive cruise is nice and smooth. Um, no, this is not Super Cruise, but it compares very well to the excellent Hyundai Group's Highway Driving Assist 2. Toyota has partnered up with EVgo for a full year of free fueling. Remember, charging speed depends on a lot of things. Ambient temperature, if the pack is nearly spent, if it's preconditioned, and how much power the terminal can deliver. It's much cheaper and more convenient to charge at home. This will juice up overnight. Quicker speeds at commercial terminals make a difference if you travel a lot. Electric vehicles have max charge rates, meaning the fastest that they'll juice up at DC fast chargers like this. BZ4X isn't particularly fast, tops 150 kilowatts, and that's with the front wheel drive version. The all wheel drive drops to 100 kilowatts. Yeah, they're different. This is the top trim limited model, so it's the spendiest looking BZ interior. It's nice. There's a Lexus RZ coming if it's not up to your standards. Cloth on the dash? Eh, that's different. There's a good amount of piano black. This cabin is a leather-free zone. Chairs are heated and vented. The smallish wheel with lots of controls is toasty. A radiant heat panel underneath the instrument panel is optional. The HVAC system is a heat pump. Small bags stash here, door pockets are large and roomy, and there are a few little useful cubbies, but no traditional glove box. Underneath a removable section here, there's a secret storage compartment to hide things from thieves, uh, but I guess I just gave that away. The car would have to be upside down before drinks came out of the deep cup holders, and the glass roof is standard on all models. Toyota has a new user interface. It was developed in-house and it's much better than the outgoing version. It does rely on a data plan for full functionality. Welcome to the future of subscriptions, folks. It's largely voice-based uh, using the wake phrase, hey Toyota. What can I do for you? Set the temperature to 74 degrees. Setting the driver's seat temperature to 74 degrees. There are a good amount of controls on this panel here to do things manually. The phone charge pad takes up a lot of real estate, but it works well. Look closely, there's a see-through pattern. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are wireless, and those do many things with voice prompts as well. The back seat has decent room. Compared to RAV4, it's a smidge smaller in most dimensions. There's no separate climate zone. Heated seats are an option not on this car. Two adults will be comfortable as long as they aren't tall. There is no spare tire. Toyota supplies a repair kit. The security cover doesn't have to be left behind, and the supplied travel charge cord has a home. With all seats usable, this is just shy of 28 cubic feet. There's a good amount of space with the back seats dropped. Toyota doesn't offer the measurement, but as you can see, it's usable. 10,000 BZ4Xs will be imported annually to the US, so supply will be limited. Check with your local Toyota dealership to make sure they have one in stock to look at. For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.